Welcome back guys. Look what's back in the shop. Yeah, I'm not too uh, impressed either. Um, I drove it to the park store the other day. And hold on a second, I got some gunk on the lens. There we go. Okay, so I drove it to the park store the other day down to get some uh, PTO stuff for the tractor. Fucking truck run pretty good. And I thought, hey, this this thing just it's just too it's just too goddamn smoky. We need to detune it a little bit. So upon returning, uh, I climbed out of the truck with it running, and I heard this kind of a I don't know, it kind of resembled like a supercharger whine, just a whine coming from somewhere up here in the front of the engine. And not knowing what the heck we're looking for, we just you know start to looking for stuff. And upon you know changing some settings in the AFC, which is that guy right there, uh, we, we were looking everything over, trying to get everything to run right. And well, so we started ripping into stuff. We pulled the fan and everything out on the front so we can check and make sure everything's right. And lo and behold, we found something pretty doggone serious in there. So I guess I should say what we were looking for is uh some reason to cause our exhaust temps to be so hot all the time because it just i mean just running you know down the highway it should be six seven hundred and it's more like nine hundred so uh, well maybe you know maybe our cam and crank are not uh, lined up i thought man i don't i don't know how they couldn't be I, i'm pretty good at this stuff i've done several of these motors so we stripped everything off the front of the motor here pulled the front cover and was checking the you know checking the two timing pin timing marks and sure enough, they were lined up. So then we're uh, we're cleaning up the front, you know, cleaning all the gunk and gaskets and stuff off, and wiping the gears off of the all little chunks are on. And well, we noticed the uh, the oil pump down there, the the idler gear, the one that's driven off the crank. I guess I don't know if it's idler or not, but anyway, it's not the main one. It's got two gears. One's driven off the crank, and the other one is the is the actual oil pump gear. Anyway, noticing one of those is kind of a little bit loose. Like, well, here, let me look at this one. Look at this oil pump. So we're wiping, they're sitting in here like this, down at the very bottom of the engine. And we're wiping up these gears. And, you know, no problem this way, but this way. Well, holy shit. That fucking thing came all the way out. This is it. This is the one that came out of it. I've got the original uh, Cummins one in there at the moment. And so I thought, man, what is going on here? Can you see that hole? That guy is egged. And look at this little crack right there in the housing. See that? Um, it did one instance. Uh, the oil gauge in the dash dropped to zero, but uh, well, I was watching it and and that was at, that was at an idle you know we, we revved it back up and the oil pressure gauge came right back up so i thought well maybe the maybe the gauge is is not registering you know low enough to well I, well shit we're a brand new engine why would we not have oil pressure at an idle so i don't know if somehow is the crank spinning this direction so it's spinning up cranking this guy up i don't know if maybe somehow those have came out of contact i i don't think they did but that was that was our problem that was causing our whining noise or uh gears being slightly out of mesh is causing our whining noise and it was starting to rub on the front cover and so in pro we we slapped the original one back in there thinking hey maybe that's you know our major problem and the engine started to give us some really funky issues an example um it, it won't drive itself down the road we can start it up here and it sounds fine we take off down the road get about a quarter mile and it starts laboring the engine and the pyro's climbing the boost is climbing trying to keep it running trying to keep your foot on it so it'll stay running and it'll actually pull itself down hard enough it'll kill the fucking engine now um, you can start it back up. You usually have to wait a little bit, but it will start back up, but it's, it takes so much dang foot to keep it running that it just, it's so fucking hot. It, it doesn't make sense. I thought, well, shit, you know, we were, we put this other oil pump in there after we noticed this is cracked and fucking going to town here. 
maybe this being bad is causing our engine uh, some serious fucking wear problems in there. We've got a cylinder scuffed or a, a rod knocking or something. So we parked it out here in the driveway for a few days and just kind of left it sit. We got plenty of other stuff to do and uh, went out tonight to bring it in the shop. You know, hit the little uh, the grid heater button and let her warm up a little bit and fired it. And man, it just took forever. And I got my little heat gauge, my little, uh, my temp, whatever this thing is, radar, whatever thing. Anyway, I was checking the manifold to see maybe if we had uh, some weird temps going on there in, the, in my particular cylinder. And number two cylinder, it just is smoking like crazy, smoking white, like it's not firing and, and checking you know, the temps across the manifold number two took forever to finally clear up and start firing and then once it did the uh the smoke kind of subsided but number two number two cylinder is uh got a problem in it so you know usually you're sitting in the cab you know trying to get your truck to warm up and you're kind of playing with the throttle a little bit giving it a little bit kind of getting her to warm up and clear so i was sitting here playing with the the hand throttle right right over here and as I was doing that, just, just kind of giving a little bit of rev to get that cylinder to go ahead and fire, uh, I noticed kind of a kind of a knocking sound. And I thought, oh shit, we better we better get this fucker in the shop real quick. So uh we're gonna we're gonna pull the pan off this sucker in the shop without pulling the engine. So hopefully we can figure out whether we've got a uh bearing issue. So I certainly hope we don't have a problem, but we've got a problem somewhere, and if we do, I hope it's uh, hope it's easy to find, because uh, this is, you know, pretty sickening to have a brand new fucking engine that uh, is destroyed by somebody's faulty piece of shit fucking oil pump. So anyway, I've got to get that thing back to the parts store where we got it, got the whole kit from them and the oil pump. And they said, well, we're gonna have to get the oil pump in here, send it in for a claim. And I said, and make sure they're gonna, I said, dude, they're gonna, there's no way that they would not. I said, well, I don't know. Dude, there's no fucking way. Look at that. That's total fucking garbage. Anyway, I mean, I don't know where the hell the pin went. Look at that. That thing's got fucking shit coming off of it. So, anyway, we gotta get that thing sent off to the, uh, Back to the parts store so they can get a claim on it so we can get start tearing this fucking thing apart and kiss my ass. They're gonna if there's something wrong with it, they're asking me fucking covering it. Anyway. Yeah, so that's that's kind of where we're at with this fucking turd. Um I'm gonna call it a night for tonight. It's been a long day. Well, I got the oil pump up to the uh machine shop place that I got it from this morning and kind of talking to him see what he recommended kind of going to start with and he said uh man you could just pull the oil filter off real quick and cut it open and see uh if it's got any brass coloring in it that'd tell you you know if you got uh bearing problems inside there and well okay i can do that i gotta uh, i will just pull that off real quick and have a look well check out what i found in this sucker turn the light on in there well, it's pretty hard to see. I'm going to have to tilt it over. You can kind of see some shit there on that side. This light's just too bright. Hold on a minute. Okay, let's try that. Now, right above that spring, basically anything that that light's glistening off of, that's the fucking brass from the, from the bearings. Okay. Now, let's go over and look at the uh, cartridge sitting over here in the, in the uh, drain. Um, yeah, there's some fucking copper in there, guys. Right there is a nice big chunk. You can kind of see it. There you go. Yeah, we got copper in our in our fucking oil filter. You know what that means? It means I don't need to fuck around with trying to pull the oil pan off. Because, uh, we got bearing material in an oil filter, so. Ah. Uh. That means we're yanking that sucker right out of there. No more fucking around with it. It's coming out. Oh, man. What a deal. And I'm going to have to strip all this shit back off the front. Pull the bumper back off. Pull everything out. Get the water drained. Yeah, you know what that means. Get her all out of there. 
Well, God dang it, at least we got somewhere to go with now. We're, we're not really guessing. We, we definitely got a problem somewhere in the crank, either the, either the mains or, or the rods. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard number two last night, or at least one of them. I, I was suspecting number two because it, it took so long to get warm. You know, number two might be uh, hammering, but for some reason, them back two cylinders were getting a lot higher temp readings faster than these front ones you know what i mean because we had like 125 upon startup as soon as i could let go of the throttle and come over here and 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 sit in the front because it it kept wanting to die from being cold as soon as i could come around here in the front we had 125 70 125 125 and then those were back there like 180 and after a few minutes of playing with the throttle we had closer to like 150 170 that one was still pretty low like 100 and then same on those two about 150 170 and then them back two they were clear up 225 230 already so we got some over excessive heat in the back two cylinders and this number two cylinder was definitely causing us some fucking grief i don't know what the hell for maybe in, i don't know maybe just it wasn't uh firing yet for some fucking reason injector goofy but anyway we're gonna get it get this thing ripped back out of here and go over the main uh the main problem and that we that we found with the the shit in the filter gonna get that crank checked where the heck's my stand there it is she's stand still sitting up here so i guess it won't be too big of a deal we just got to get all this shit stripped out of the front and get her yanked out so i'm going to kind of time myself to see about how fast i can go i'm not going to have any uh any other help today it's just, just going to be me so we'll see how fast we can get this thing ripped out of here Okay, that wasn't too bad. Took a little extra time to uh, I trimmed this guy up. It was awful ugly, and anyway, it was just it was just in the way all the time. I was poking my arm on it, but uh, we got her hanging. Took me like three and a half, four hours, and got her mounted. Got the pan off. Um, where's my light? That thing's always evading. Hold on. There we go. Now, upon initial looking, I haven't touched anything yet other than just pulled the pan and I looked inside the pan, there's some gunk in there. But let's just kind of glance here a little bit. Kind of just look over the journals, see what we can see. Um, yeah, that sucker there is a little bit discolored. Mm, looks kind of odd. Um, that one there is kind of looking discolored right around the main. I'll have to investigate that for sure. This one looks discolored. Okay, so we definitely got a heating problem. And this is the back of the engine. Let's look in the oil pan. Or you know what, let's look on the suction tube right here in our face. Um, yep, that's definitely bearing material. My God, she's just fucking eating itself up here. I didn't even see that till just now. But let's look in the pan too, shall we? Oh uh, my God, there's some massive fucking parts in here. Um, that right there. I don't know what that is. I thought maybe that was a pin that held that... Uh, oil pump gear in no that's a that's a oil squirter for the for the uh inside of the cylinders that's what that is that's an oil squirter what else we got in here besides massive freaking carnage any pins just massive fucking bearing chunks jesus christ I don't necessarily see that pin. Some shit in there. Oh my god. Nope. Oddly enough, the engine still turns over easily. Has uh, had to turn it over to get get all the bell housing, uh, the torque converter bolts out of that hole, and it turned over really easy. So that's definitely weird. Well, let's start uh, popping some shit off the crank here and see what all we can see okay so panning for gold in the old come-ins 
Well, fish full of shit in there. So I went ahead and pulled the head. She's hanging on the cherry picker. Um, check the rods first. They all, I mean, they're all bad, but none of them are super bad, except for number five. It had spun the, uh, the bearing in number five. Uh, well, okay, so let's hope it didn't go too bad in the in the mains. I started pulling the mains off. Hmm, yeah, we've got some serious freaking carnage in the mains, too. Let me grab this guy off real quick. You see that there? Yeah, that's a uh, spun fucking main. Every fucking one of them besides number six was spun. Number seven, rather, the back one. Every main cap every main bearing has spun so uh that's definitely super fucking bad um not really sure what we're going to do at the moment because uh me personally i don't really want to fuck with that too much more because you get the uh, problems boring out the fucking block and that's going to get super freaking expensive and who knows what the uh people are going to say yet about covering you know i'm i'm those motherfuckers they fucked me if they ain't going to cover it so we might end up just getting a different freaking engine and starting over <sighs> yeah anyway i'll uh kind of keep you guys informed as know what's going to happen with that but as of for now i'm going to head to the house call it a day and well i'll skate you guys on the next video until then thanks for watching catch you later